Hi there. I'm David Sheeler. I'm pastor of St. Andrew Church in Tampa, Florida. I've been thinking, thinking about worship on Sunday and thinking about uh, giving. I just got a letter a few days ago from my college, from my alma mater, asking me to participate in their annual fund. The problem with the letter, of course, is that um, it comes at the beginning of this year's annual fund, and I just finished paying for last year's annual fund. I, of course, I'm a procrastinator. I'll wait till the last minute, but I just gave them some money, and they're turning around and asking for, for more money. They, of course, followed this up today with an email reminding me that they'd sent me the letter and asking for money. And I get kind of bothered by that. I think about that request, other requests that I have from other schools, seminaries that I've attended, or from other sort of charities, even from, from church. And those letters, those requests, uh, end up getting piled on the, the stack of other bills and things, obviously, that I have to pay. And I've been looking at some of those bills and trying to pay some of those bills um, uh, even this day. And I think about how that can sort of in contrast to some of the other experiences of giving that we often have. Of course, Hurricane Isaac right now is bearing down on Louisiana and the Gulf Coast. And certainly after the storm passes, there'll be all sorts of folks who are willing to give uh, to help some of the victims from the storm. And of course, it reminds me of the experience there just a few years ago with Hurricane Katrina and the tremendous outpouring of gifts uh, that came to help those victims. And even still on 9-11, of folks from all across the country and right there in New York who wanted to give and give so much uh, to help such a terrible tragedy. People were even baking cakes and taking them down to ground zero. There were all sorts of charities, of course, that collected for, for needs there. The American Red Cross even wound up with uh, too many blood donations because unfortunately there were not many survivors and yet people were constantly donating blood. They wound up with more blood that they can use. They also wound up with more financial contributions than they could use for that site and, in fact, got a little bit of trouble because they diverted some of those finances to other pressing needs uh, that they were trying to address, but things that the donors had not actually donated for. But that makes me think that there are often things that we donate to, want to give to, and that is because we need to give them. That giving is not just something that's an obligation or something that we're called to do, but it's something that we have to do because of who we are and, and who we're made to be as people. The writer of the book of James in uh, the Bible says that uh, every perfect gift, every act of giving comes from above, from the Father of lights. And elsewhere, the writer says that we are sort of a first fruits of what God intends. That we are, as scriptures say elsewhere, we're made in the image of God. And if God is the one who gives to us, if God is the one who loves us, if God is the one who is generous with us, then we too need to be generous like God is generous. We too need to give like God gives. Anyway, that's hard to do. I know sometimes when the requests come and they just go on the stack of all the other bills that we pay. But in some sense, all those other bills, the mortgage, the electricity bill, the grocery bill, sometimes they almost stand in the way, keep us from being the people that we're really supposed to be, the generous giving people, the creative people that we're supposed to be, because we're supposed to be like God and give the way that God gives to us. Anyway, that's what I've been thinking. I'll see you Sunday.